Hey, I'm Cher, and welcome to readings. We're going to do a Taurus reading. <clears throat> well, we're going to pick an oracle card for you. These are the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. And these are by Joan Holland. I love these cards. Taurus. Okay, so... Spirit is very strong in the room. And I'm picking up uncertainty. Taurus, you not sure. I don't know if you should. Maybe. Maybe, I don't know. It's kind of like a stand up and then sit back down kind of thing is what I'm picking up. What do we got? <clears throat> Memories of love. Memories of love. And it's a number six. Where's the book? Let's see if I can find it. Memories of Love. There it is. It's on page one, 103. 103. Hmm. Oh, I opened right up to it. Meant to be. Memories of Love. You may find yourself walking down memory lane at this time. This nostalgic card could indicate that an old friend or an acquaintance from the past may step back into your life. Or it could even resurrect loving images from days gone by. Does this person, um, does this person, these happy forgotten moments, or those innocent childhood memories encourage you encourage you to recall and welcome the energy of love is there a message or a lesson from these fond recollections that could benefit you in your present life the number six card relates to support, dedication, unity, and a need for balance in the areas of emotions and love. A need for balance in the areas of emotions and love. So maybe that's why you're going back into the past. Is so maybe you're feeling a little bit imbalanced. Maybe you're feeling a bit lonely. Your heart and soul are asking you not to dwell in the past, but use the inspiration and the joy from that time to assist you in the here and now. So how would that happen? Okay, I'm feeling really lonely. Oh, geez, you know, I remember my friend. Oh, God, we had some good times. Oh, my God. And you find yourself laughing about things that they did and how outrageous they could be sometimes. <laughs> We're going to go to Egypt. The Egyptian Tarot. We're going to do a reading for you. Taurus. Memories of love. Well, leave them at memories. You're being told to uh, uh, go back in there. Just remember the good times. Remember the love. But there seems to be an imbalance in your present life that you're looking at the past. Spirit. We're ready? Okay. All right, we're ready. Let's go. Let Spirit speak. Wow. Okay. Okay, let's go. The Seven of Swords followed by um, the Knave of Wands. Followed by the Emperor. Followed by the Six of Cups. 
That's somebody from the past. So I'm in a seven of swords is deception. Lies or cheating. Deception of some sort. But even though even though there was um deception of some sort. Oh, okay, let's go to spirit. We're sitting here reading pieces of cardboard. Let's go to spirit. Okay. Somebody was deceptive with their passion for you because their passion wasn't what you thought it was. The possibility that this person might have used you. But there were good times, but it's possible that Jet. This wasn't somebody that you should have really been with. With the Emperor coming out here and then just feeling this grandiose feeling about someone from the past. So feeling this Emperor, I love to think of the Emperor as someone's got themselves together. But there's something here about the past. So the Emperor walks in the room the Emperor never, ever, ever walks in alone. He can feel it around them. They might look like they're alone, but the Emperor is never alone. They have a leadership quality to them. And that could be you. But there's something here about somebody from the past, the Six of Cups. I'm kind of wondering if you want to go and talk to somebody about something. Maybe you didn't get closure. Maybe you didn't get to have your say. Well, let's continue on, see if we can find out. <clears throat> the Six of Swords and Three of Cups. And since you left, hello, Oni. Hello, Balloon. Say hello to Balloon. But since you left, there have been good times. There have been. Since you went to calmer waters, there have been good times with the Three of Cups. You celebrate it. You, you had a good time. Things have worked out for you. <laughs> Things have been pretty freaking good since you went to calmer waters. For crying out loud, hello. One moment. <laughs> I can't put him down without petting him. Hello, buddy. Aw, you're a good boy. You want to say hello and goodbye to everybody? Come on, come on down here. Come on. Go on down. <laughs> come on down. You're walking all over the cards and making a mess. And spirit's getting aggravated. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh, oh my god. Heavy cat. So, since you walked away with the Six of Swords, and you've, you've had some good times. You, you've been okay, darling. I'm not going to say that you've been sitting around and crying. You might have. But obviously, you're doing all right. You're doing okay. You're feeling better. You're feeling calmer. You're feeling more like, phew, man, what a trap that was. Man, I think I was going to crawl out of there. The Five of Swords, you even had, you even let your ego down. Which means you might have felt that you had to fight to be heard, or you had to fight to be seen or recognized. Because what I'm seeing here is, is somebody here was quite deceptive. They, they were, they was a fibber liar. Liar, liar with their pants on fire. The King of Swords. <clears throat> too much thinking, too, too, too much thinking. And this is the sun in the reverse. Things have been better for you. Why do you want to mess them all up again? 
Now, maybe because your present moment, you don't have somebody. Maybe because the present moment, you're, you're feeling, <clears throat> you're feeling around you. You may appear to have, you may appear to have um, all the influence and the power. Yes, indeed, the emperor. You got all the influence and the power. But in reality, you're in control and responsible for all the choices that you make. So if you're going to make the wrong choice, if you're going to make the wrong choice because it says right here, take time to think, analyze, and carefully look at the different possibilities that are in front of you. Don't be hasty just because you feel pressured. Because you feel pressured. Um, and don't be influenced by people who have no idea, expertise, or education in the areas of your choice. What the hell is this? I'm reading the wrong one. <laughs> I was going to say, that does not. Memories of love. Okay. I was wondering why. <laughs> okay, Taurus. Sorry. Maybe I'm not in the present moment either, darling. I don't know where I am. I'm in uh, twos wisely. Oh. But, hey, for all things, there's a reason. And I was reading choose wisely. So, uh, number six card uh, relates to support, dedication, unity, and the need for balance in the areas of emotions and love. And a balance that, darling. That's because of something in the present moment isn't what you hoped it would be. I don't mean open up the freaking floodgates and let everybody from the past come in. They're in the past for a reason. Sometimes it works, and by God, darling, a lot of times it don't. So let's continue on here. And I got the sun in the reverse, and there's a lot of, a lot of thinking, and the thinking must stop because there's no sunshine in that dark thinking that you have. And the dark thinking could just be thinking about someone from the past. And since you've gone to calmer waters, things have been better. Much better. I mean, to the point that you're the emperor. Judgment. My God almighty. <laughs> this is bringing it up. This is bringing up someone from the past, darling. My God almighty. And the Six of Wands want to be recognized. Want to be recognized by someone from the past. Why? Why, darling? And this is what I'm feeling before I even picked any cards. This, I'm standing up. Wait, I want to sit down for a little bit longer. I'm standing up. No, I want to sit down. Don't let your mind tell you a whole bunch of friggin' fairy tales. And this is not a cross watcher's reading. So cross watcher <laughs> don't take offense. But for this group of tourists I'm reading too. Because of your present situation, I got nobody here to love. I feel a lot better and, and I found myself and maybe I'll give somebody another chance. No, no. No. The seven of wands. Yes, indeed. Put your freaking shields up, darling. Put your shields up against your own mind. It's not so much in your heart anymore. It's more in your mind. I wonder whatever happened to them. I wonder if they'll ever text again. I wonder. Shields up. Hmm. Knight of Pentacles. The Hierophant. <clears throat> this is just spirit. Now the Hieroph Hierophant can also mean something like um, uh, tradition. You, know, you could be married. Or it could just be traditional thinking. You know, I believe that once you're with somebody, you should really, really work on it and until you freaking die or until you kill yourself in, in agony and trying to work with somebody that just can't be worked with. But the thing here 
<clears throat> it says it, you, you got to think of spirit. You now there's a possibility here that somebody's birthday is coming up. And you're thinking to yourself, oh, well, it wouldn't hurt to take them a gift. Yeah, it would. Mm, don't go. Don't go. My God. You've done so much. Don't freaking go. A lot of times I'll say, well, there might be a chance. I just don't feel it. First two cards, they were deceptive with their passion. They lied to you about, well, I love you. Lies. Lies. They're deceptive with their passion. They might have gone to bed with you and, and, and made you believe that, wow, this is just fantastic. I'll never meet anybody like this again. A real freaking damn good showman or showgirl. But they were deceptive with their passion. Immediately it shows it here. There might have been age difference too. Should I get one more card? Spirit. You went to calmer water. You, ha you had your three of cups. You've had some freaking good times since you left. And, and, and you became the emperor. And you've done good for yourself. And you're stronger. And, and you're building on stronger and firmer foundation. And a star coming out here. Great possibility. Great possibility. <laughs> Eight swords. All up in your freaking head. All right. All right. Hold on. All the birthdays coming up. It wouldn't hurt if I took them a gift, you know, just because just my spirit's telling me to, you know, let bygones be bygones. You want to do that? You want to do it? There's great possibility of the Eight of Swords, which is a mind tornado where once there was calmer water, is now, is now thought, thought, thinking, thinking, over over and over. Tornadic actions of thinking all over again. Spirit. Let Taurus be strong. Ten of sorts. And then it'll end. It'll end for sure then. But why put yourself through that? It's already ended. Why put yourself through that? <laughs> Hello, buddy. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Why? Don't put yourself through that, Taurus. Because immediately, you know, you know they don't have the love for you that, that you require. But this, this person is so crafty. So crafty. Crosswatcher, hang up. This person is so crafty that they can make you believe they can play a game that is freaking incredible. I'm becoming hypnotized by this cat's tail on my face, going back and forth. Okay, well, let's find out who's here, if I can. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Aww. Okay, can I find out who's here, please? Hello? Um, okay, so I do have... Buddy, I have Pisces, I have a Sagittarius, don't bite on the cards, here's an Aquarius, who is it, Buddy, Buddy, <laughs> oh, they're on the floor, Buddy, seriously, okay, okay, Let's see if I can see who's here now. There's Capricorn, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, who is this, Virgo, who's that, oh, that's an Aries. Who else? Who else? Is that it? That's it. All signs are on the board. Taurus. This is a really good reading, but do the memories of love? Love? 
remembering the good times that you had with somebody, even though it just really wasn't there. God love you, darling. I want to thank you for joining us today. And if you like the way we read, please like and share. Appreciate it. And before you go, if you reach back and hit that subscribe button, spirit. Oh yeah, we'd really appreciate that too. Thank you. And don't forget to ring the bell in hopes that um, that you'll be notified the next time we put a video out for you. Namaste.